Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go. Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Today I will be reading to you all Star Wars Rescue from Jabba's Palace. <clears throat> Y'all bear with me because I don't usually do um, too much um, Star Wars in my life. So I don't, if I get these words wrong, I apologize in advance <laughs> for those who know the words. All right, guys. Han Solo was in trouble. He had been captured by Darth Vader and frozen. When he was given to a bounty hunter named Boba Fett. Boba Fett worked for the vile gangster Jabba the Hunt. Han owed Jabba money but did not pay him back. Boba Fett's job was to bring Han to Jabba. If Jabba could not get Han's money, he would get Han. It's always good to pay back what you owe, y'all. Whether you're going to have consequences or not, it's just good matters. But Han's friends had a plan to rescue him. C-3PO and R2-D2 went to Jabba's palace they brought Jabba a message from Luke. Luke wanted to bargain with Jabba to free Han Solo, but Jabba refused. He liked Han hanging on his wall for all to see. Oh, he froze, he froze him in carbonite, huh? Okay. Jabba kept c 3 po in his court and put R2-D2 on his sail barge. Then another bounty hunter arrived. This bounty hunter brought Chewie to Jabba, but this bounty hunter wasn't really a bounty hunter at all. Mm, who was that? That bounty hunter was Princess Leia in disguise. She had come to unfreeze Han. Princess Leia freed Han, but they could not escape from Jabba the Hunt. Mm. Jabba made Princess Leia his slave and put Han in the dungeon with Chewie. Next, Luke came to help. He tried to talk to Jabba, but Jabba wouldn't listen. Jabba dropped Luke into the Rancor pit. The Rancor was a big monster. Luke fought the Rancor and won. Go ahead, Luke. This made Jabba very angry. He told the heroes that they would be dropped into the Sarlacc pit and never escape. Now Han and his friends were really in trouble. Everyone boarded Jabba's sail barge for the trip through the desert. Jabba was going to make the heroes walk the plank and fall into the mouth of the Sarlacc. Oh wow. Jabba's men moved Luke into place. Luke stood at the edge of the plank. He signaled to R2-D2 and then Luke jumped off the plank, but he didn't fall into the pit. Luke flipped through the air just as R2-D2 shot an object into the sky. Luke landed back on the skiff and caught the object. It was his new lightsaber. And it was green. Luke battled Jabba's men and free Han and Chewie. That was when Baba Faye landed on the scene. Luke fought Boba Fett. Then Han hit Boba Fett's jetpack and causing him to fly away. Boba Fett crashed into the sail barge and fell into the sonic pit. Mm, mm, mm. In 
inside the sail barge, Jabba was very, very mad. He didn't notice Princess Leia standing beside him, standing behind him. Princess Leia used a big chain to defeat the Val gangster. And thanks to R2-D2, they escaped. I know that's right, Princess Leia. On the top of... On the top deck of the sail barge, Luke fought the rest of Jabba's men. Princess Leia joined him, and they fired the cannon at the deck. They swung to safety and joined their friends on the skiff. Jabba's sail barge exploded. Thanks to Han Solo's friends, he had been rescued and Jabba the Hunt had been defeated. Alright guys, that was the end of Star Wars Rescue from Jabba's Place. Alright guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my videos if you haven't done so already on well, my channel. Alright guys, thank you all for tuning in to another Big Mama Story Time. I hope you like this book and I thank you all again for y'all support. And have a wonderful day. Bye.